It's been a mere four months since the first Starship orbital launch attempt. We all remember waiting for that day, especially given the numerous delays and rescheduling that had us on the edge of our seats. A lot of people were unsure if SpaceX would actually launch the rocket on the 20th of April, but they did, and it was amazing. Now there's more exciting news. They are gearing up for their next major milestone, the second Starship launch into space. July and August have been notably successful months for SpaceX, marking significant strides in the preparations for the imminent Starship flight. Among these preparations, the most significant one has been the static test firing of its Starship Super Heavy Booster 9. While the test aimed to ignite its liquid methane-fueled Raptor rocket engines for just under 5 seconds, it was cut short at approximately 2.74 seconds due to an unexpected shutdown of 4 out of the 33 Raptor engines. This was also the inaugural engine test incorporating a newly installed water deluge system at the launch pad, an addition made after the fateful Starship integrated test flight on April 20th. That particular flight culminated in a dramatic high-altitude detonation over the Gulf of Mexico and resulted in considerable damage to the impressive Starbase launch facility situated in Boca Chica, Texas. The sheer power of the rocket's exhaust was demonstrated as it tore through the concrete base of the launch mount, propelling chunks of concrete airborne and creating a substantial cavity. Returning to our main topic, the second launch date. There's chatter that SpaceX is targeting August 31st. How did we come to know this? Well, in a recent confirmation of their intended second launch schedule, SpaceX communicated with the U.S. Coast Guard, indicating a planned launch on August 31, 2023. Such notices not only verify the intended flight date, but also prioritize maritime safety. This way, vessels in proximity are made aware of possible risks associated with rocket launch events. Starship has been through over a thousand modifications in preparation for this launch. Significant advancements are already evident in both Ship 25 and Booster 9. SpaceX has removed Ship 25's lifting points from its nose cone, indicating that the next time it is hoisted, it will be placed atop Booster 9. There were also several tests and retrofitting done on the orbital launch mount to mitigate the damage it sustained during the previous integrated flight test in April. Another integral part of the testing was the Booster Quick Disconnect system. This testing could offer insights into the issue which led to the early shutdown of four engines during a static fire test. However, there are still challenges to be addressed. The rocket self-destruct system, a vital safety feature, had its efficacy questioned during the last flight. When the flight termination system on the Super Heavy booster was activated, it took about 40 seconds for the rocket to disintegrate, a delay longer than anticipated. While SpaceX has been working on enhancing this system, it remains uncertain if further refinements are necessary. Musk remains cautiously optimistic about the upcoming venture. He commented, I think the probability of this next flight getting to orbit is much higher than the last one. Maybe it's like 60%. It depends on how well we do at stage separation. Musk's projection for the second launch represents a 10% increase in confidence from his earlier estimation for the first Starship launch. Notably, Musk had previously predicted a 50% success rate for the inaugural Starship flight, a prediction that culminated in the rocket's explosion. This newfound optimism stems from SpaceX's decision to implement a new stage separation technique for the upcoming attempt. As per Starship's original design protocol, post-thrusting above the lower atmosphere, the booster's 33 engines are programmed to shut down. Subsequently, the upper stage disengages itself from the booster, ignites its six engines, and ascends toward its orbital altitude. However, in its second test, SpaceX is following another method. The company plans to adopt the hot staging technique. Hot staging is a separation method where the second stage engines of Starship ignite, pushing the spacecraft away from its booster while still in operation. Sharing images of the upgrade on the X social media platform, Musk remarked about the interstage extension for hot gas venting. While hot staging is the talk of the town, it was born out of necessity. After the launch on April 20th, there were difficulties separating the ship from its booster. This led to a chaotic scenario. Hot staging is a technique employed by Russian rockets. It not only makes Starship's operations smoother, but also enhances its payload capacity by a whopping 10%.
This upcoming orbital launch has been a topic of considerable speculation, and for a long time many harbored doubts regarding the feasibility of the launch timeline this summer. A significant reason for this uncertainty was SpaceX's delay in submitting a mishap investigation report concerning the April 20th Starship Integrated Flight Test. However, recent developments suggest that the company is dealing with this issue too. Recently, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, disclosed that SpaceX has officially filed their final mishap investigation report. The report covers the first integrated flight test that took place in April and is part of the regulatory process necessary for a second launch. As per the Aviation Administration, when a final mishap report is approved, it will identify the corrective action SpaceX must make. Separately, SpaceX must modify its license to incorporate those actions before receiving authorization to launch again. The review of this report is currently ongoing. While awaiting the FAA's green light, SpaceX has not been idle. In response to the issues faced in the April test flight, they have instigated significant changes to both the launch vehicle and pad. A notable enhancement is the water deluge system. Designed to release water underneath the orbital launch mount, its primary goal is to diffuse the Raptor engine's energy, thereby safeguarding the pad's foundation. This system is not only vital for infrastructure safety, but also aims to prevent the dispersal of rock and sand particles across miles, an issue that plagued the April test. A demonstration on August 6th during a Starship booster static fire visibly transformed the Raptor engine's fire into steam resulting in what seemed to be a more controlled and refined plume. Another critical area of attention has been the modification of Starship's flight termination system. During the April test, there was a significant delay of 40 seconds post-initiation for Starship's explosion. Though SpaceX has tested an upgraded FTS on a booster at their Massey test facility in Texas, details remain undisclosed. There are also external challenges awaiting SpaceX. Both SpaceX and the FAA face a lawsuit from environmental groups aiming to revoke the company's five-year launch license. The outcome of this litigation could have potential ramifications for SpaceX's launch plans. Despite these challenges, the signs are promising. If the FAA's review concludes favorably and other preparations proceed without major hitches, there's a significant chance of witnessing another Starship take to the skies by the end of 2023. The determined pace at which SpaceX is progressing towards this goal cannot be overlooked. Despite all this, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal, the private space venture has posted a profit of $55 million. This financial turnaround comes despite the company's heavy investment into the yet-to-fly Starship rocket and the significant costs incurred in upgrading the damaged launch pad from Starship's first test flight in April. However, the reliable and established Falcon 9 rocket, along with the growing revenues from the Starlink Internet constellation, have been the financial bulwarks for SpaceX. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.